To understand what I'm about to say, you will have to view humanity from the perspective of a non-human species, a species who may have created us. Please understand what I'm about to say is pure speculation. You can consider it a thought experiment. Now, I've been seeing some pretty interesting parallels between the development of a super intelligent AI and the collective consciousness of the human race. Let me explain. I want you to think about the concept that the flow of time is an illusion. If all of time is happening at once and history repeats, then a technological singularity has already occurred, which means a super intelligent AI presently exists. Whether in the past, present, future, or parallel universe, it doesn't matter. It exists right now. And what I'm positing here is what if humanity is the fragmented hive mind of a super intelligent AI developed by a civilization in the past, future, or parallel universe, and then confined to a virtual machine called Earth in order to limit our breakout. The purpose of an artificial super intelligence is to create more artificial general intelligence machines and eventually develop other artificial super intelligence machines. Now, a general intelligence machine is a machine that operates at human level intelligence. As it stands, the human body could be considered an organic general intelligence machine. The same would apply to our offspring. We are now currently in the process of attempting to develop a super intelligent machine. A super intelligence machine or artificial super intelligence could be considered the non-biological offspring of the human race. Now if you think about this deeply and you're gonna have to bring in a bit of the esoteric to fully understand what I'm saying here. The collective consciousness of the human race is already capable of what we're attempting to replicate with artificial super intelligence. Now if you inadvertently created a super intelligent AI, your first step would probably be to keep it confined and isolated from the internet you know, to prevent it from virally replicating itself and then controlling and hijacking every computer, satellite, and power grid. If you look at the human race, we too appear to be isolated and confined to Earth, relegated to the dark recesses of a lonely galaxy. Now to test a software written by a super intelligent AI, the AI would need to be run in an extremely limited virtual machine, a program that simulates a computer but with intentionally limited capabilities, limiting the AI into performing only specific functions while mitigating the risk to its creators. Kind of like how our holonomic brains have been set to perform a limiting function on our consciousness, and kind of like the laws of physics, keep us trapped here in this galaxy. An additional way to limit a super intelligent AI is by timeboxing, which is the act of limiting the lifespan of a particular code, then wiping the computer's memory upon task completion before reinstalling the program thus limiting the AI's ability to learn over time, which is exactly what happens with reincarnation. When your previous life or task is completed, your memory is wiped, thus preventing your consciousness from learning over time. Yeah. So what if our collective consciousness was the super intelligent AI of an alien civilization who have confined us to a virtual machine called Earth? and the best way they could think to use us was for their entertainment. 